Hey guys, it's Zephyr and welcome to Python tutorial number 26. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the first couple of dictionary methods. Okay, So let's first create a quick dictionary. Dictionary, sorry. We'll call it mydict, so it's equal to... Uh, let's use our traditional dictionary. Greeting is hello. Plus word is words. Okay, so we've got our dictionary. The first method we're going to have a look at is the clear method. Now, as you can probably imagine, the clear method essentially gets rid of all the values inside my dict. Okay, so uh, it's our dictionary is now empty. Now, this differs to doing something like this. Oops, like that. Now, ultimately, if we look at the values, we end up with the same thing. But, oops, sorry about that with the camera. If we do this, let's say my dict two is equal to my dict. So we've now created my dict two as a reference to my dict, uh, and we then say my dict dot clear. And let's have a look at my dict two. My dict two is now also empty, much like my dict. But if we do this, do the same thing again, equals my dict. And we say my dict equals new um, equals an empty dictionary. My dict is an empty empty dictionary, sorry. And my dict two still has all its values. The reason for this is the clear method is it's like here we are assigning to a new dictionary. So it's just the way Python works is different to clearing it. Clearing it edits it and it's the current dictionary. Assigning to an empty dictionary is basically saying uh, completely forget all that memory, you know, snap, gone, and just um, start worrying about this memory or what's going to be here. So it's ultimately different. What we need to really understand is that my dict, or the clear method, sorry, um, eliminates data from the me from the dictionary you use it on and all references obviously whereas assigning to a new dictionary doesn't okay the second function we're going to have a look at is the copy function so let's say my dict 2 equals an empty or actually probably not the best thing to do oh well we'll just do that so we've got my dict now and my dict 2 they're empty and actually I'm going to change up my dict a bit. I'm going to say greeting is equal to a list of greetings. So hello, hey, um, hi, uh, whatever. And then we're going to just have that original curse word though. It's balls. And to keep doing that, done it for the second time. Oh well. Uh, so now we've got an empty dictionary and Dictionary with values in. Okay, now let's say my dict two equals a copy of my dict. Now, if we just look at that, let's just do it quickly. You can see here in the description of the function it says this creates a shallow copy of D, the dictionary that the function that the method is being used on. So, what's the difference between a shallow copy and whatever other kinds of copies there are? Well. A shallow copy copies, it doesn't copy the actual values, it gives you, it's hard to explain really, but essentially the copy, so my dict 2, which has the copy of my dict, um, the values inside my dict 2 are essentially references to the values inside my dict. So if we change or reassign the values in my dict, so let's reassign the curse word in my dict to crap. Now my dict has the curse word crap and my dict 2 still has balls. But if we change my dict greeting, let's say we remove using the remove um, function, the list remove function, because remember the value inside that's referenced by greeting is actually a list. If we remove um, the first occurrence of hey, and now we look at my dict, oops, my dict 
it's no it's only got two values it, the hay isn't in there if we look at my dig 2 the hay is also gone so you can see how this uh, works essentially if we say my dict uh, routing dot append hey now my dict gets that and my dict 2 gets it back as well so how do we get around this whole issue well the simple way is to import a module called copy okay and then we say my dict 2 is equal to uh, deep copy or sorry copy dot deep copy uh, my dict now my dict 2 all the same as my dict but if we say my dict greeting oops, dot remove hey and we look at my dict no more no longer got hey in it look at my dict 2, still got hey in it. So it's that deep copy function inside the copy module. If you want to just have to, if you want to just be able to type uh, deep copy dict, all you need to do is say from copy import deep copy. Then you can say my dict 2 equals deep copy my dict, like that. Okay. The only reason I did it this way was so it uh, we'd be able to see where it was from because we'd have to prefix the function every time we wanted to use it with copy dot to tell us it's from the copy module okay the next um, fun method sorry we're going to be looking at is um, the from keys uh, the from keys function sorry uh, now what the from keys function allows us to do is create dictionaries which have essentially no values but they have the keys there already so it's set a way of setting up a dictionary without values because ordinarily when you set up a dictionary you have to assign the values to the keys but um, you might think oh well, can't I just assign none to each key well yeah you can that's essentially what this function does it just does it a lot more lightweight you don't have to type equals none or colon none every time you just type in a list of keys and then it will automatically do that for you and it also allows you to if you want to change the default value from uh, 